Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rofia Sin and you guys are watching my ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial series. And in this video tutorial series, we are developing a complete e-commerce web application. So in the previous video, we have installed Entity Framework Core in our business layer. And we have set up this App Store context class. In this video, we are going to set up uh, our connection string. And uh, we'll change this class a little bit and we'll register our connection string in our startup.cs so let's get started until that i'm going to open my sql server so that i can get my server name from the sql server so we'll have to wait so our server server is started we can click continue and we can connect and we can minimize this so first thing is to create connection strings so the best way is to create connection strings and these things is user secrets. We will be using some secrets later on. Uh, but for the time being, we can create connection string here in the app settings. So over here, I will write connection strings. So IntelliSense is showing me the connection string is the section name. Then we are going to create the name of our connection string. So it will be default connection. And over here, I'm going to write my connection string. So we have connection string server equals to the name of server here. Then we have database equals to the name of database here. Then we have trust rate underscore connection equals to true. And then we have multiple active result sets equals to true. So this is basically our connection string and now we'll, we'll have to give this connection string a server name so we can copy this server name and we can set up uh, here. So this is our server name and this is our database. So, so let's say we want to give the name of database pound saving store. Okay, so this is name of our pounds saving store name of our database this is the name of our server and then we'll have to set up trusted connection equals to true and multiple active result sets equals to true perfect so in order to create connection string this is first step and the next step is to basically register our connection string within this startup.cs so remember, I already in the introduction videos, I told you this is a the serv configure services connection uh, container where we register our services. So let's say I want to register my server, my connection string. So how can I register? So I can register services dot add db context, and over here I will write the name of my connection string. So app store context, the name of my connection string or db context clause app store context you can come here and you can see the name of this clause is this app store context and then i will pass some options this okay and over here i will write options dot use sql server sql server control dot import the namespace and then I'm going to set up my options. So within this option, I will have to set up configuration. So what config, which configuration, this configuration, okay. Configuration dot get connection strings. And over here, I will write the name of my connection string. So what is the name of my connection string? In the app setting settings, I have set the name of my connection string as default connection. So I can copy paste here. Okay. So this is how you can configure your, uh, and the same equal, is configure your connection string within this uh, uh, services container. And after this, the first step was is to create connection string within the app settings.json file. Next step is to add this connection string within this services container. And the last step is to pass this connection string 
uh, to our base constructor class. So what we can do, we can create a constructor here. CTOR is a shortcut for creating constructors. And within this constructor, what I can do, I can pass DB context options. With this anchor brackets and over here, I will write the name of my connection string app store context. And I can set options and I can pass these options to base class. Okay. And we don't need uh, this kind of space. And we can move this to here. Okay. So this is like a basic setup. The first thing was to set up connection string within this app settings.json file. Next step is to add this connection string within this services container. And the next thing is to pass this connection string to our base class. Okay. So that's it for this video. This, this video was just to set up this connection string in ASP.NET Core MVC. And in the next video, uh, we will discuss more about our e-commerce web application till that bye i'll see you in the next video